Hey there, viewers! Vitamin D Deficiencies That Could Be Affecting You Right Now Vitamin D is essential for a range of bodily functions. Dietary sources provide some vitamin D, but most comes from exposure to sunlight. After the body takes in vitamin D, it needs to convert it to its active form. Deficiencies can arise if a person does not take in enough vitamin D or their skin has an impaired ability to synthesize it from the sun. In this video, we look at how to detect the signs of vitamin D deficiency and how to treat it. Stay tuned and keep watching for more. Why is vitamin D so important? Vitamin D is one of many vitamins our bodies need to stay healthy. This vitamin has many functions including Number 1. Keeps bones strong Having healthy bones protects you from various conditions including rickets. Rickets is a disorder that causes children to have bones that are weak and soft. It is caused by a lack of vitamin D in the body. You need vitamin D so that calcium and phosphorus can be used to build bones. In adults, having soft bones is a condition called osteomalacia. Real quick, hit that like button and let's get back into it. Number 2. Absorbs Calcium Vitamin D along with calcium helps build bones and keeps bones strong and healthy. Weak bones can lead to osteoporosis, the loss of bone density which can lead to fractures. Vitamin D, once either taken orally or from sunshine exposure, is then converted to an active form of the vitamin. It is that active form that promotes optimal absorption of calcium from your diet. Number 3. Works with Parathyroid Glands The parathyroid glands work minute to minute to balance the calcium in the blood by communicating with the kidneys, gut, and skeleton. When there is sufficient calcium in the diet and sufficient active vitamin D, dietary calcium is absorbed and put to good use throughout the body. If calcium intake is insufficient or vitamin D is low, the parathyroid glands will borrow calcium from the skeleton in order to keep the blood calcium in the normal range. What are the effect of vitamin deficiencies that affect you? Number 1. Brittle Hair and Nails A variety of factors may also cause brittle hair and nails. One of them is a lack of biotin. Biotin, also known as vitamin B7, helps the body convert food into energy. A deficiency in biotin is very rare, but when it occurs, brittle, thinning, or splitting hair and nails are some of the most noticeable symptoms. Other symptoms of biotin deficiency include chronic fatigue, muscle pain, cramps, and tingling in the hands and feet. Pregnant women, heavy smokers or drinkers, and people with digestive disorders like Crohn's disease are at the greatest risk of developing biotin deficiency. Also, the prolonged use of antibiotics and some anti-seizure medications is a risk factor. Eating raw egg whites may cause biotin deficiency as well. That's because raw egg whites contain avidin, a protein that binds to biotin and can reduce its absorption. Foods rich in biotin include egg yolks, organ meats, fish, meat, dairy, nuts, seeds, spinach, broccoli, cauliflower, sweet potatoes, yeast, whole grains, and bananas. If you are an adult with brittle hair or nails, you might consider trying a supplement that provides about 30 micrograms of biotin per day. However, only a few small studies and case reports have observed the benefits of supplementing with biotin, so a biotin-rich diet may be the best choice. Number 2. Mouth Ulcers or Cracks in the Corners of the Mouth Lesions in and around the mouth may partly be linked to an insufficient intake of certain vitamins or minerals. For instance, mouth ulcers, also commonly referred to as canker sores, are often the result of deficiencies in iron or B vitamins. Angular chelitis, a condition that causes the corners of the mouth to crack, split, or bleed, can be caused by excess salivation or dehydration. However, it may also be caused by an insufficient intake of iron and B vitamins, particularly riboflavin. Foods rich in iron include poultry, meat, fish, legumes, dark leafy greens, nuts, seeds, and whole grains. Good sources of thiamine, riboflavin, and pyroxidine include whole grains, poultry, meat, fish, eggs, dairy, organ meats, legumes, green vegetables, starchy vegetables, nuts, and seeds. If you experience these symptoms, try adding the foods above to your diet to see if your symptoms improve. Number 3. Bleeding Gums Sometimes a rough toothbrushing technique is at the root of bleeding gums, 
but a diet lacking in vitamin C can also be to blame. Vitamin C plays an important role in wound healing and immunity, and it even acts as an antioxidant helping prevent cell damage. Your body does not make vitamin C on its own, so the only way to maintain adequate levels of it is through diet. Vitamin C deficiencies are rare in individuals who consume enough fresh fruits and vegetables. That said, many people fail to eat enough fruits and vegetables each day. This may explain why studies performing routine screenings of healthy populations estimate low vitamin C levels in 13 to 30% of the population, with 5 to 17% of people being deficient. Consuming very little vitamin C through the diet for long periods can bring on symptoms of deficiency, including bleeding gums and even tooth loss. Another serious consequence of severe vitamin C deficiency is scurvy, which depresses the immune system, weakens muscles and bones, and makes people feel fatigued and lethargic. Other common signs of vitamin C deficiency include easy bruising, slow wound healing, dry scaly skin, and frequent nosebleeds. Make sure to consume enough vitamin C by eating at least two pieces of fruit and three to four portions of vegetables each day. Number 4. Poor Night Vision and White Growths on the Eyes A nutrient-poor diet can sometimes cause vision problems. For instance, low intakes of vitamin A are often linked to a condition known as night blindness, which reduces people's ability to see in low light or darkness. That's because vitamin A is necessary to produce rhodopsin, a pigment found in the retinas of the eyes that helps you see at night. When left untreated, night blindness can progress to xerophthalmia a condition that can damage the cornea and ultimately lead to blindness. Another early symptom of xerophthalmia is bitot spots, which are slightly elevated foamy white growths that occur on the conjunctiva or white part of the eyes. The growths can be removed to a certain extent, but only fully disappear once the vitamin A deficiency is treated. Fortunately, vitamin A deficiency is rare in developed countries. Those who suspect their vitamin A intake is insufficient can try eating more vitamin A-rich foods, such as organ meats, dairy, eggs, fish, dark leafy greens, and yellow-orange colored vegetables. Unless diagnosed with a deficiency, most people should avoid taking vitamin A supplements. That's because vitamin A is a fat-soluble vitamin, which, when consumed in excess, can accumulate in the body's fat stores and become toxic. Symptoms of vitamin A toxicity can be serious and include nausea, headaches, skin irritation, joint and bone pain, and in severe cases, even coma or death. Number 5. Scaly Patches and Dandruff Seborrheic dermatitis, SB, and dandruff are part of the same group of skin disorders that affect the oil-producing areas of your body. Both involve itchy, flaking skin. Dandruff is mostly restricted to the scalp whereas seborrheic dermatitis can also appear on the face, upper chest, armpits, and groin. The likelihood of these skin disorders is highest within the first three months of life, during puberty, and in mid-adulthood. Dandruff and seborrheic dermatitis may be caused by many factors, with a nutrient-poor diet being one of them. For instance, low blood levels of zinc, niacin vitamin B3, riboflavin vitamin B2, and peroxidine vitamin B6 may each play a role. While the link between a nutrient-poor diet and these skin conditions is not fully understood, people with dandruff or seborrheic dermatitis might want to consume more of these nutrients. Foods rich in niacin, riboflavin, and peroxidine include whole grains, poultry, meat, fish, eggs, dairy, organ meats, legumes, green vegetables, starchy vegetables, nuts, and seeds. Seafood, meat, legumes, dairy, nuts, and whole grains are all good sources of zinc. Did this video clear up some questions you have for vitamin A deficiency? Let us know by commenting on the comment section. However, if you have questions about medications to increase vitamin A in your body, ask a knowledgeable healthcare professional like a registered dietitian for advice. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out, both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.